I am Anoka, and this is the Church of the Sacrament. The Case for Spirit by Obia Anoka. Obia is the term for a Jamaican shaman, basically. And what is a shaman? A shaman is a spiritual psychologist, someone who uh, assists their fellow human beings in finding greater degrees of peace and satisfaction with their moment to moment existence. <clears throat> a shaman is also a doctor that can that would never prescribe a treatment that they have not experienced themselves. All right, so today we're going to talk about spirit. But to talk about spirit, we must define spirit. Spirit, the aspect of reality that brings inanimate elements into animation, that which bestows life. <clears throat> the aspect of reality that brings inanimate elements into animation, that which bestows life. That is my definition of spirit. Now, some would say, well, you know, what does the dictionary say is the definition of spirit? Well, I'm going to let you look that up. I have looked that up. But I have an issue with the idea of going to the dictionary for definitions. My first issue is there are no definitions in a dictionary. And I paused on that just for a quick second. <laughs> Why do I say that? When you define something, when you define a word, you are expressing what that word means separate from every other word. It's the aspect of the word that is uniquely attributable to it. That would be its definition. But every single listing in the dictionary has multiple definitions. How can you define what a thing singularly is and have different definitions? <laughs> you see what I mean? What you have in dictionaries is a category of common usage. That's what you have. And if you explore deep enough, if you looked at all of the definitions, you might find out what it is that defines that particular word. So. Because of that, I have chosen to exercise my own power to define what a word means. And through, <clears throat> through writing it, expressing it, sharing it, and inviting comment, I believe we'll be able to refine an actual dictionary of definitions. So because of my shamanic and spiritual bent, I decided to define spirit first. So spirit, the aspect of reality that brings inanimate elements into animation. <clears throat> Did I lose some of my atheists with that one? So we're gonna, let's try and parse this. Let's try and prove a thing. Let's see if we can come up with a reasonable understanding of what I'm trying to say. So reasonable that you might actually agree. So I'm gonna start by operating according to the arguments of materialistic science, right? Like the Big Bang is this pivotal point from which existence begins to express itself. <clears throat> Some 13.7 billion years ago, uh, singularity exploded and all of this energy rushes out all of the elements eventually rush out of this explosion and cooling process <clears throat> so the story goes that there's an incredible explosion all the energy erupted into the universe and then this energy goes through a process of ordering that eventually expresses the qualities that we call life, right? Uh, 
basically the big bang leads to creation of elements the elements do their dance and they end up creating life they end up evolving into life forms <clears throat> so at some point inanimate elements began to express animate qualities that hydrogen that carbon that oxygen at some point in some of the forms of their combinations began to express life i name that aspect of reality that brings animation to the inanimate spirit. <coughs> Let's go back one second. I want to say that again. <coughs> I name that aspect of reality that brings animation to the inanimate spirit. That is spirit. <clears throat> In an open mic ministry, we all serve to refine truth, right? It's not about what one person says. Reason works when reasonable beings communicate in a fair and honest manner. And when that happens, we can triangulate on truth. We can bring truth into our awareness, into our shared awareness. So I invite each of you to contemplate your own definition of spirit. And if you're willing to share that so that we can work together to refine this definition because to live a sacred life one must define their own existence who are you what are you and what the hell are you doing here and what is here something like that i love you i am obia anoka of the church of the sacrament one one two three 5843-7189, 8876-4156-2819.